Let me introduce you to Desire to Learn, or D2L, which is our class management system at Walla Walla University that you're probably going to be using quite a bit in interacting with your classes at Rosario this summer. To get there, just in your web browser, type in class.wallawalla.edu, and it will take you to this sign-in page. From here, just go ahead and sign in using the sign-in credentials that you got from Walla Walla's um, IT, so let's do that. And once you successfully sign in, you should see a page somewhat similar to this. Now yours might be slightly different because mine is a faculty page. Uh, yours will be a student page, but it should be set very, very similar to this. Uh, what you'll have is a big announcements up here. We still have at Walla Walla University the, the big announcements about COVID-19 up here. If you go down, we have all these tiles. Each of these tiles is a different class that you are involved with. Uh, you can go ahead and click on either of these, any of these, and it'll take you into that class. So uh, one thing that you should look is that it's for the right term. So for instance, this one's from this last quarter uh, that I was teaching 2020 spring. Um, and you should see those. You should have some that say 2020 summer in there. Uh, if you go ahead and click into one of those classes, it'll bring you into a page like this. Now, just on the first page, you'll have an announcements page. Uh, that your instructor might go ahead and put some announcements in there to kind of introduce you to the class or something else like that. But really where all the meat is are in these up here at the top, these, these links up here. So let's go through a few of these that you'll be using quite often. I'll introduce you to what's in there. Most of your class materials are going to be here under content. If you uh, click that up, you'll either see something that looks like this where you have different uh, sections the content, maybe different lessons or modules over here on the left hand side and the content on the right hand side. Um, I'm, there are two different displays. There's the new display and the old display. Let me do this real fast. Uh, I'm in the new content experience. Let me uh, turn it off just for a moment so you'd see what it looked like. Um, I don't know. Just checking back. Okay. Uh, if your professor is using the old content experience, it would look something like this. But either of those is really the same thing where again we have just the sections or maybe the modules or lessons over here on the left hand side and the things over here under content. Okay, I'm going to switch it back. Uh, turn it on. Okay, so this is the one that I use. It's a little bit cleaner, a little bit easier for me to navigate, but you might find either of those present in, in the classes that you are taking. Um, another couple that are important here are assignments. In here, in assignments, there are often drop boxes that you can put assignments into um, and, and receive grades from. Also, you have your grades. Quizzes is another one. Uh, up here, again, this is, this is one which you can go and take online quizzes. Your uh, instructor might have you do that. Also, another one is the discussions tab. Uh, this is essentially a forum type uh, area where your instructor might have you actually go and participate in some discussions on there as well. Most of it's pretty intuitive and the way this gets used is fairly different for different instructors. And so I'm not giving you a lot of specifics right here, just kind of introducing you to the generality of it. And your instructor will give you specifics about what they're posting, where and how and what to get at. I think the one that you're gonna come across most is content here. Oftentimes when we have recorded lectures, they are going to be in this section. So for instance, uh, I have my recorded lectures for my classes in here. So for instance, there is, this is my first lecture from this particular class. Uh, it's in Panopto. I wanna show you something specific about Panopto. So uh, I'm gonna, to play Panopto videos, you have to sign in. Uh, but here we go. This is, this is a video that I posted up for, oh, let's pause that. Uh, posted up for my bioinformatics class that I taught this last quarter. Uh, if you, now, these videos could be hosted anywhere and, and actually put into D2L. They could be on YouTube or something else like that. But uh, if they are in Panopto, Panopto which uh, you could see up here, one of the cool things about this is you can actually search these videos. So if you click on the search box here, you could say, I remember, um, I remember my teacher saying something about that, but I don't remember in this video. And this is a 15-minute video, or maybe it's even longer than that. Uh, I don't remember where that's at. Um, let's take a look. What did I say? Let's say something I probably said. Genetics. 
Um, okay, now and it will actually search through both the um, the actual text of the slides that are in this video, but it'll also search through the verbal transcript. So if the instructor even said the word, it should find it as well. So for instance, here, um, the genetics is not on this um, not on this section right here. Oh, let's put that in again, genetics. Um, but I did say it at this point. And here's another place. Uh, again, this is not a place in which genetics appears on the screen, but I said genetics uh, or genetic. Uh, and so it's bringing me to that point. And so uh, Panopto is really powerful in that you can you can actually go back and review and, and look for specific things that was said uh, in the video that way. But again, uh, this could take a lot of different forms depending on <clears throat> the class that you are you are particularly taking. Uh, oftentimes, also, I would put um, uh, lab instructions, things other like uh, PDFs and other stuff in there. For instance, here in labs, I would have the actual PDFs uh, of instructions, other stuff like that. So that that really is just kind of like a really quick rundown and just a really quick introduction to d2l again this is the primary place in which you'll be interacting with a lot of the stuff for your class i'm not giving you a lot of specifics here uh purposefully because again most professors use it in in quite different ways but that at least gets you an intro of of how to get into there what it looks like and how you'd be interacting with stuff there